for Wall Street Media. I'm Mike, I'm here with Doug, and we'll help you make money in the stock market with information you can't find anywhere else. That's what we do, German Mike. That's what we do. We have news and highlights from the Wall Street Analyst Forum. And for anyone that's interested, you can go to wsw.com slash webcast slash WSAF number nine. First up is Michael Whitman, President and CEO of Power Medical Interventions, ticker PMII. Spoke about their recent strategic collaboration with Intuitive Surgical Corporation, which they had just received $2.5 million payment for developing a, surg a surgical stapling device. You should take a look at these guys. I, I kept getting interrupted, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> this morning. I was listening to them to the best of my ability, but it was like email, phone call, someone staying over me. So you're doing <laughs> something else besides listening to presentations? <laughs> I was, I was. I'm so sorry. You know, paperwork is my freaking life. But um, they had some cool stuff, and they've got videos embedded in the slides, right? Mm -hmm. And they have big name partners. You know, it, it's interesting. Uh, they they were very cheap stock. They're like 25 cents or 30 oh, cents wow. a share. Um, and to have big name partners, you know, who knows? Might be a big swing. Yeah. Um, next is Isaac Cohen, CEO and chairman of Bionovo, ticker BNVI. Spoke about the uh, Minerva. Their product for the treatment of hot flashes associated with menopause that can possi possibly decrease cancer risk, which is currently in phase two with a potential of one dollar, uh, um, one billion dollar market share. Stephen Hamner, CFO of Medical Properties Trust, ticker MPW, spoke about their $75 million accessible liquidity and their plan on not making any new investments to face the economic condition. Bill Kulbeck, CFO of uh, Engenion Corporation, ticker ANGN, spoke about a positive acceptance of CCM Express products, which measures the nutritional requirement of patients in ICU and CCU. Cool, interesting stuff, man. I didn't get through, I didn't get to hear all of these guys yet today, mm -hmm. but I'll try to this afternoon and have stuff when Great. we do things later. Um, Great trades. Uh, also, I sold my UCO um, uh, that I had gotten from Stock Choice. Okay. It was another energy leveraged play, right? 3% mm -hmm. in one day. Oh, you know, that's okay. Um, Not uh, nothing compared to the other trades you did. No, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> CBG, 35% in one right. day. You know, I was very <laughs> happy with that. I should have put a lot more in that and a lot less in the shorts. I'm really taking it. I'm taking a beating this morning. But I have company on stock twits, and, and it, it, it's a wonderful community, and I'm having a lot of fun. I'm learning so much, right. like, about different positions and different strategies guys use. Mm -hmm. And I've seen guys that are great traders that I follow now. Some of them I just blind follow because I've seen them make so many great trades they post them in real time it's free mm -hmm. not selling anything I'm trying so to educate you even in this market you can still follow a strategy oh yeah 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 these guys are, are, are some of them are amazing man okay <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's all we have. That rounds up our Wall Street and Endless Forum webcast. Um, we're here every day at Wall Street Media. You can find us directly at WS. Yeah. So, I forgot to say, come back, follow them on Twitter for free. Right. Okay. WSMCO.com. Thanks. <laughs>